Tonight on Beneath the Surface, we'll take you inside Climate Pledge Arena for the full fan experience at a Seattle Kraken game. I'm one on one with Kraken head coach Dave Haxtall. See if I can thaw that icy cold stare. Plus, wine and concession food? Get a taste of the surprising pairings available at Climate Pledge. This is Beneath the Surface. Sponsored by Primera, official health plan of the Seattle Kraken. It's been one month since Climate Pledge Arena opened its doors to fans, and it's been a busy one between the concerts and the hockey games. Good evening, I'm Paul Silver. And I'm Kim Holcomb. Welcome to Beneath the Surface. So we've talked a lot about the fan experience that you can have at Climate Pledge, and tonight, we're gonna show it to you. Evening's Jose Sedano takes us along to his first ever Kraken game. When it comes to hockey fans and live music lovers, there's a place that everyone wants to visit right now. So today I was invited to check out the vibe at the Climate Pledge Arena on a Kraken's game. I'm gonna have to readjust my outfit because I don't look like a fan, only the Vinny. The cool thing is that you really can find anything Kraken related in this store. Anything for kids, for grown-ups, you name it. How much is this one? You know how much it is? Without a secret, which is the best jersey in this house? The best jersey? Yeah. Probably Grubauer jersey. Should? All right. Uh, what is the cheapest thing you can get that you still look like a Kraken fan? A puck. A puck. I'm getting a puck. I don't have no money, so I'm getting a puck. <laughs> okay, it's time to discover. The most photographed spot in the arena is the living wall. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about. Apparently they call this the Instagram alley. What's up my 10 followers in Instagram? How you guys doing? No touching and eating the plants. I touched it, but now I know I shouldn't touch it. I'm not gonna eat them though. Let's go and talk to some fans. See what they have to say. Go Kraken! Let's go Kraken! Let's go Kraken! I'm not going to lie. I was very excited to check out a Kraken's game. You cannot deny that this arena is quite amazing for real. So right now I'm just waiting for the Krakens to come up and warm up for the game. The Krakens are in the eye. It's official. That's what I'm talking about. Now that the game is about to start, I think I need some food. Today we're gonna do the impossible. How good is the impossible burger here? You will not be disappointed. All right, thank you, my man. Gonna get messy for sure. Now that I got the food, I'm just missing a cold drink. Ice cold beer. Say a lot of like you say before. Ice cold beer. Yes, ice cold beer. I cannot work without a beer. Whether you come for a Kraken's game or a concert, it's safe to say that you will have a fun experience at the Climate Pledge Arena. Oh, thank you, Jose. So fun. I cannot wait to go. To you are going to love it. Yay, looking yeah. forward to it. Well, Dave Haxtall knows he has his work cut out for him as head coach of the expansion Seattle Kraken. Well, the foundation has been built. Now it's up to Haxtall to mold a winner. And he thinks playing in a world-class venue like Climate Pledge Arena gives him an advantage. It's, it's an awesome place to come to work every day, which is what you, you know, we want to have for our players and, and everybody involved. They, they enjoy the community, they enjoy the people. You know, we've had, we've had a tough stretch here and we haven't been able to win a lot in front of our home fans. That weighs on our guys a little bit because they know and understand and appreciate how much our fans care and how much energy they bring to us. Dave Haxtall is an intense coach. There's no hiding it. Former players say it's his stare. Someone said that staring at you and is like looking into the sun, a weird talking Canadian sun. <laughs> that's I haven't heard that one, but that's uh, that is a ha that's a handle. I don't know how I'm going to put that on the back of a T-shirt, but I sure hope my kids don't see this interview because I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> There's no question, Hackstall is enjoying life in the NHL. He does have a lot of memories of his 16 years at the college level, coaching at North Dakota. Some good, some not so good. The I don't know, I don't know how you got a hold of this one. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time when Hackstall and fellow assistant Brad Berry were driving from Denver back to Grand Forks after a weekend series. With Hackstall at the wheel and Berry asleep in the passenger seat and the snow coming down, their trusty Buick LeSabre lost its grip on the highway. We hit a little patch of black ice and how I knew we hit black ice was the Dodge Durango's taillights in front of me began to swerve a little bit. 
and that's when I knew something was about to hit the fan. So as I tapped our brakes, I also tapped Brad on the shoulder and just said, hey, hey, bubs, you might want to wake up for this one. When we did finally pull into the gas station, we had corn hanging from the, from the vehicle. There was bumpers hanging off. Uh, the one distinct thing I remember is that there were barbed wire fence marks all the way up the front windshield where we had gone through, uh, where we had gone through the, the barbed wire fence. So it's nice to have somebody watching over you and for sure there was somebody watching over us on that particular day. Oh, such a good story, and I am impressed you got him to laugh. He's usually so serious during interviews. I think a guy like him who's been in hockey as long as he has has great stories, and I think you could sit down with him and pull a couple each time. So uh, I would love to do it again. It's uh, It was a lot of fun talking to him. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, let's keep the hockey theme going. We know that the Kraken comes from the sea. Now it can also take to the skies. And you can catch a ride. Here's St. Brian. Behind the door of the float plane hangar at Kenmore Air Harbor, a beast has been lurking. Well, actually, it's a turbo otter float plane, but it's getting that now iconic Space Needle anchor logo and that glowing red eye. This otter is being transformed into a kraken. It's a collaboration between Seattle hockey partners and Kenmore Air. We're off the charts excited about it. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, the enthusiasm and excitement the teams bring into our town and it's creating a lot of positive energy and we just love being part of it. Look for the Kenmore Kraken on the docks or in the Northwest skies for this soon to be legendary beast. And there's one more place Kenmore Air's president can't wait to take the Kraken plane now that the border is reopening she'll get scheduled for some flights to Canada. We look forward to having people flying around in a Kraken airplane and landing in Victoria and Vancouver and stoking the rivalry. That design took 28 hours to install. <laughs> Keep your eyes to the sky and you'll see it soon. You might also see the Kraken in some people's ears. Thanks to a longtime local jewelry company, Boma Jewelry has created octopus studs. The women-owned company is based in Renton, and much like Climate Pledge Arena, their mission is all about sustainability. They feature zero-waste, handcrafted jewelry. The sterling silver octopus studs are made from recycled precious metals. They cost 20 bucks, a great gift for the Kraken fan in your life. Coming up on Beneath the Surface, food and wine pairings at Climate Pledge Arena. Plus, how the Seattle Kraken are giving back to the community. And later, get a look at the events coming to the arena. Welcome back. Raising a beer at a hockey game is pretty common, but raising a glass of wine, not so much. That could change at Kraken Games, though, because wine is a fundamental part of Climate Pledge Arena's offerings. And Paul and I learned it actually pairs well with concession food. Whether it's a reserve bottle or an easy to carry can, you can have a wine experience inside the arena. We truly believe that wine goes with everything that we do around our lives, right? And that includes coming to a sporting event or a concert at Climate Plates Arena. The 14 Hands Marketplace on the main level carries grab-and-go varietals in cans. Easy to take back to your seat without fear of spilling on your neighbors. And in Mount Baker Hall, you'll find the Chateau. You get a more elevated experience, get a better glass, and then maybe some wines that have a little bit more nuance. Juan will show us which concessions pair best with his creations. Note, this is also Paul's first wine tasting. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a little wine whirlpool. Oh. We'll sample three wines made exclusively for the arena. The two cans is a white blend and a red blend. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Then there's the Kraken Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. It was an oak for about 20 months, so that adds complexity and layers to the wine. And then it's been in the bottle for a couple of years. We start with the white. The acidity pairs well with fish, like this poke bowl. So it's nice and light. Maybe this is what I will drink if I was not drinking beer for whatever reason. Next up, the red blend with herbaceous notes. It smells just to get a 
an idea of what the wine will taste like. Mm -hmm. And that will pair beautifully yeah. with the fat of the pizza. I could stop right here, wrap, I'm yeah. good. This looks awesome. That looks amazing. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never had wine with pizza. It really works with the food. Yeah. Finally, the bold reserve Cabernet. The tannins and the way the wine expresses itself is ready for you to enjoy with a wonderful burger. This is for science, Paul. <laughs> Does it taste a little different now that you tried the burger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun? Yeah. It does taste different. That's Cheers to you and your beautiful wine that you make. Cheers. 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 I don't have much left. Mm. <laughs> Someone likes wine. <laughs> Cheers. All right, for the record, we learned that Paula is a white wine guy who mainly prefers beer, and that is just fine. There's plenty of that at the pledge, too. Don't judge me, Kim. I would never. All right, traditionally, hockey hasn't been the most diverse or inclusive sport, but the Seattle Kraken want to change that. Here's evening's Angela Poe Russell. When Tim and Todd Lywicki decided to build a world-class venue and bring the NHL to Seattle, they wanted to change the game. Both the team and the arena were really founded on the idea that they wanted to create something, a team and a place where everyone in our community felt welcome. Mari Harita is the executive director of the One Roof Foundation, the charitable arm of the Seattle Kraken and Climate Pledge Arena. The foundation focuses on three primary pillars, access to ice sports, ending youth homelessness, and promoting environmental justice. Our vision is a more equitable society and a healthy planet where everyone can realize a brighter future. The Kraken Community Iceplex in Seattle's Northgate neighborhood serves as the foundation's home base. It's here that underserved youth can learn to skate and play hockey. Increasingly, zip code, household income, and primary language spoken at home determines who gets to play and who doesn't. So part of what we're doing in One Roof is raising funds to provide financial support for families and youth who otherwise couldn't participate in our Learn to Skate programs or Learn to Play programs. But the foundation realizes that not everyone can come to One Roof, so One Roof is going to them. These days, everyone wants to go, you know, like, oh, we care about this stuff, and they go into these communities and do a one-off or cut a check, and then they never see them again. We're going into some of the South End neighborhoods in South Park and in Skyway. We're working with the county and the city and the community centers and the communities to say, can we be useful to you? What would that look like? And showing up over and over again to say, no, we really are here. We really do want to build relationships with you, build that trust. That's why I'm here. It's not because I know or love hockey or I've always dreamed about working for a pro team. It's really because of Todd's vision uh, to create something good for our community to leverage this powerful platform to try to make a positive difference in people's lives. If you want to learn more about the One Roof Foundation or get involved, head over to their website, oneroofoundation.org. Still to come, Everett Fitzhugh, the voice of the Kraken, shows us the newest spot to pregame. And later, Paul makes good on a promise when he gives poke a try. Welcome back to Beneath the Surface. Well, the newest addition to the Seattle Kraken's Anchor Alliance gives fans a front row seat to team practices. It's also a great spot to pregame. Here's the voice of the Kraken, Everett Fitzhugh. Hey, Paul and Kim, I am up here in Northgate at the brand new 32 Bar and Grill inside the Kraken Community Iceplex, and we are just a light rail ride away from Climate Pledge Arena. Now, this place has been in the works for a very long time, but as you'll soon find out, it was definitely worth the wait. It may be the rookie in the Seattle's restaurant scene, but how many restaurants have a view like this? You're sitting in the 32 Bar and Grill, so this is our restaurant in the Kraken Community Iceplex. 5,000 square foot, 200 plus seat restaurant, serving kind of a Northwest pub type fare and that pub grub includes a local delicacy. Probably a couple of our favorites, the Dungeness Crab Roll. I'm not gonna tell you everything that's in it because it's kind of a little bit of a secret, but I think if you eat it, you'll say this is one of the best I've ever had. Don't like seafood? Well, their burger is definitely a keeper. So it's an eight ounce grass-fed all beef burger. It's our signature, we call it the Big Rig, and I think it lives up to its name. So the NHL is also called the Never Hungry League, and as you can tell when you come to the 32 Bar and Grill, you will never be hungry. 
So I'm a big seafood guy, love seafood. So let's start off with this crab roll and see what we got. Oh man. I'm gonna need like four more of these. The big rig burger, a little pickle on top. Oh man. That is cooked perfectly. That is so good. Feeling a little bit parched? Well, there's plenty here to wet anyone's whistle. Our Kraken Stash IPA, it's one of our favorites. It's a nice hoppy IPA. So Fear the Deep is our signature Kraken rum with ginger beer and lime. So I've got drinks and I've got hockey going on today. I don't think it can get any better than this. First up, we've got Fear the Deep, which is our take on a dark and stormy. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's citrusy. And now we've got our Kraken Stash from Hop Valley. Oh, that's another good one. So I like hoppy beers. So whether you come for the food and drink or the unbeatable view, the 32 Bar and Grill has everything a Kraken fan could want. If you can't make it to Climate Pledge Arena, you can watch Kraken Games at 32 Bar and Grill. Or, of course, you can listen to Everett on the radio at 950 KJR. And we really want to thank Everett for contributing for all of these weeks on Beneath the Surface. Coming up. From comedians to legendary musicians and wrestling. We've got a look at the events heading to Climate Pledge Arena. It's hard to believe this is our last installment of Beneath the Surface. Give me a Kleenex, Kevin. Please. It's going to be sad. sad. It's been a pleasure to introduce you to Seattle's new home for sports and entertainment. And this is just the beginning. Yeah, there are so many games and shows coming to the Pledge in the very near future. Take a look. Tacos. 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 Daily Show host Trevor Noah is making a stop here on his world tour Back to Abnormal during Thanksgiving weekend. The show is November 26th. The very next day, you can watch the Trans Siberian Orchestra take the stage. They play two shows on November 27th. December has lots of sporting events to choose from. Seattle U takes on McNeese State on December 1st. The Seattle Kraken play the first of nine December games on the 3rd, facing off against the Edmonton Oilers. The puck drops at 7 p.m. The very next evening, it's back to basketball. From the free throw line, the left to King Perry. For the battle in Seattle, when the Gonzaga Bulldogs take on the Alabama Crimson Tide on December 4th. I'm half white, half Filipino, and that's what I mean. Which means my dad was in the military. <laughs> in the new year, check out Tacoma's own Joe Coy for a night of laughter. He performs stand-up on January 22nd. Country artist Kane Brown plays the pledge on January 28th. WWE SmackDown thunders into the arena on February 4th. And in March, you can catch Imagine Dragons on the 7th. If you want to roll me, then you got to roll me all night long. John Mayer on the 22nd, and Journey with Billy Idol on March 28th. All right, we can't leave without making good on a promise. A few episodes ago, I said that Paul would taste poke for the first time in his life. And? I had to. They serve it at Climate Pledge Arena, and I'm a man of my word. Here's how it went. <laughs> I feel like I'm standing on a dock about to plunge into icy cold water. And here I, here I go. I ate it. <coughs> Okay, so you liked it, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna say like, Kim. Okay. I ate it, and I know there's other versions of it, so that was a pretty safe one, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the burger and pizza, please. Which are also delicious, oh let's be gosh, honest. Oh my gosh, really yes. good. And I'm very proud of you for trying Thank and keeping you. your word, Thank and you. I don't think we can top that, so we're just gonna say goodnight now. That's it. <laughs> good night. Thank you for joining us on Beneath the Surface.
Beneath the Surface. Sponsored by Primera, official health plan of the Seattle Kraken.